So, we talked about air control and uh, Tara showed her barn ventilation system, which was cross ventilation. So, we want to learn the components of air control. Because we talked about temperature, so one of the most important components is heaters. We have different heaters, forced air furnaces, something like we are using, you know, uh, at houses here in North America. Radiant heater, radiant heater, you can see in this picture, several of them, you know, they are like sunshine. They can uh, radiate uh, heat on the uh, into the you know ground, and the chicks can get warm over there. And a common radiant heater is tube heaters, as you can see in these pictures. So by that, we are going to heat the floor, and the birds can get um comfortable zone to grow i showed this picture already this is called heat map so we actually uh, monitor the heat map by using this tool which is called thermal imaging camera what you need to do is to just use this camera and look through. You will see uh, these uh, different colors on the screen. So blue color here is representing a cold weather, a cold space. But yellow and uh, red parts are the warm parts. So if you are going, for example, here uh, on the left image, you can see they are using uh, some radiant heaters. And you can see just underneath the heaters are warm, but other places are cold. But in the middle picture or in the right picture, you can see the warm uh, weather, the heat is distributed evenly through the barn. It's really important when we are talking about temperature, we are not talking about just air temperature. As I mentioned, we need to pay attention to the leader temperature. And also, it's important to pay attention to the heat map to see how the heat is distributed around the Barn. So it's not only for brooding phase, it's not only for cold weather, it is important for warm weather as well. Let's say during the summer, you're going to have a good ventilation system to, you know, to exit the warm weather from the barn and to provide a cool place in the barn. So by that, your birds wouldn't go under heat stress. That's why having a, you know, a thermal imaging camera is really, really important and I highly recommend it. So talking about air quality and ventilation, we have some standards. The concentration of carbon dioxide should be less than 5,000 ppm or parts per million. Carbon monoxide should be less than 50 ppm. Carbon monoxide uh, is not, you know, a ventilation issue, is heater, uh, heater maintenance issue. Because if you have improper combustion of propane or natural gas, so you're going to have carbon monoxide in the barn, and we need to prevent that. The level of ammonia should be less than 25 ppm. Ammonia, I would say, is one of the most and common challenges in the barns because it can be arised 
by manure, by fecal materials, and it can decrease the performance. That's why we need to have some strategies in place to reduce the ammonia. It's not just by ventilation. Of course, ventilation can help to, you know, reduce the ammonia. But it's related to other aspects as well. For example, litter management. I'm going to talk about that in the next section. So if you have a wet litter or a cake litter, it means that the uh, compacted, you know, litter materials, then you're going to experience high ammonia level in the barn. And it's going to reduce your bird's performance. And also, uh, some dietary factors are really important, specifically the protein and amino acids uh, balance in the diet. If you don't have a good uh, balanced diet, you're going to experience ammonia emission in the barn, and it's going to kill bird's performance and kill your profit. So, another aspect of ventilation is to control relative humidity. The relative humidity should be between 40 and 60 percent in the barn, and you need to monitor that. A ventilation system, a good ventilation system, should be able to minimize dust, maintain temperature, and ensure adequate oxygen. Remember, the, I heard this from an experienced farmer back in the day. There are two important managerial tips to have to boost your poultry performance. One, oxygen. Second, nutrition. And in nutrition, vitamins and minerals nutrition is really important. So oxygen is the driver of performance. To burn the nutrients, you need oxygen. Especially when you are using oils, fat in the diet. In that case, the oxygen requirement is high. So that's why we really need to provide a good amount of oxygen in the barn. And it's going to be through ventilation and through a good management on the litter. Remember, if you have the best feed formula in the world, you're not going to boost your bird's performance unless you pay attention to other managerial uh, things as well, like litter management, like air quality, because these are the drivers of performance. If I eat, you know, a good diet, but if I cannot burn that, if I cannot metabolize it, it's not going to work. And maybe it's going to be harmful. Because if you can't metabolize feed, you're going to have metabolic disorders. Let's say, you know, skeletal disorders, ascites, SDS, or sudden death syndrome. And I'll be creating more videos about those uh, metabolic syndromes in the future.